Steve, uh, it's been a tough week for you. What's your thoughts after that one? Well, it was a tough week. You know, Tuesday Ipswich, we said we played really well for 20 minutes and nothing for the next 75. I think today we were fantastic in the first half. Um, I think at half time you're wondering, well, your question is, you know, turning 0 0 when you should be perhaps 3 0 up. Um, we played some terrific football. A couple of individual errors at the start of the second half, and we find ourselves 2 0 down. And Wednesday had a little 10 minute spell where they got on the ball, but we. We regained our uh, momentum to to just command the game for the last 25 minutes. and um, So there's a big difference from Tuesday at uh, Ipswich to today. I don't think the Leeds United supporters got the road. Just they're thinking about the individual errors, they're thinking about the mistakes, and it just brings the reality back. It counts in both boxes what happens. When you come to places like this, you've got to take the chances that Dakar and Cook had early in the half. Yeah, you have to, but we take a chance and it gets chopped off. Um, so from that point of view, yeah, you have to take those chances. You have to get yourself in front. I think if we'd have gone in front today, it's, it's easy to say how that changes the, the course of the game. But, you know, I don't go away disappointed with the performance today. I go away disappointed with individuals in terms of mistakes in, in both boxes because nobody means to miss a chance either. So as much as we can look at the, the goals we concede, which is which is mistakes, we, it's mistakes that lead to chances being missed because no one means to do it. And I, I thought my team had a real energy today. A real commitment to passing and moving. I think at times we were far, far superior. But at this stage of the season, as a, as a head coach, it's also a bit winning games, and we've lost and they've won. So, good luck to them. What was your view on the goal that never was? Well, the the free kick is given. Uh, the referee um, signals he's going to allow a substitution. Um, Forrester Rainey got his deck chair out and took four days to come off. The referee in my opinion, overruled that then and said we're going to restart play. Uh, he clearly uh, whistled to restart the play, which he's, I've just been and seen him, he accepts. He shouts to my players, play, restart. We score. Um, he gives the goal. Uh, I go for a little leak, a wee break, and uh, I come back and he's chopped it off. And Obviously, there's nothing you can do about it at the time. You just need to understand it. I've been in and seen Anthony, he says, in law, in law, he's uh, he's got it right because it should be it should be disallowed. Um, I've seen many a substitution being made where the referee stops it for substitution. Someone's taken far too long and he restarts play. I've never seen somebody go back to restart and play again ever. And um, but there we go. He's a Premier League referee who stepped down to take case of a big derby today. He should be in the under nines and the park pitches on Monday next refereeing game performance because you cannot make a, a mistake of that magnitude in a game that means so much to both sets of supporters. Two changes today. Still no Chris Wood. People are going to when it, when are we going to see him again for Leeds? Well, I've been well. You'll be. Uh, I'm probably guilty of, uh, you know, want him out there more. So I keep talking about it. But he'll be back for next week. I'll be good. We've been talking about the possibility of catching the top six, Steve. Is that it done now? Do you think realistically? Well, it's not done because if we play like that, we'll win a lot of matches. Um, so if we don't, if we demand and command the ball that we did today, and and we open teams up, you've got to believe that we can. We can score some goals, um, so I certainly don't give it up. And then we've got a lot to play for. We're building now for not only this season, but we're building for next season. And there's there's a lot right out there today. There's a lot of good players and Leeds United shots. And uh, there'll be always be the some who say, well, that's not that's not good enough. But the the performance today was very good in time at spells and times. No Sam Byram today. Do you expect that deal to be concluded with Everton? I don't know. All I know is I was told that the football clubs had agreed a fee with between two clubs. Sam was Sam asked himself to be excused. Um, it was a simple decision for me. I, I want players that are fully concentrating on the game and at it. And wherever that goes, it goes. If it don't conclude, he'll be he'll be at Thorpe Arch on Monday. Can I ask you about Mirko Antonucci? Came on as a sub. It didn't seem warming up. Did he warm up today before he came on? Well, we done it. We done it quite quickly. But he was yeah, he was well warm. I don't think you know Echo's wife is, is due a baby any time and and stuff like that. So maybe that's a little factor. But he, I thought it was quite bright when he came on. And is he one of the players who's been linked with a move away? Are you expecting him to be moving on in this window? No, I don't. I don't get involved in. Um, I, I set the names I want on a sheet, and um, and the football club go and work on it. And uh, I expect Marco to be here. You look at the size of the squad that Wednesday have got. It'd be nice to have some of the luxuries that they have, wouldn't it? Well, we've got a lot of luxuries. You know, we've got boys like Cook. We've got boys like, you know, Mewitt, We've got boys like Taylor. We've, you know, we still got the Sambarans. So we we've got a lot of luxuries. I think, you know, the Coopers. And I thought Bellucci today was was fantastic in spells. I thought he was outstanding. And um, so we're we're building something here. And um, it takes a a lot of time to to build it. You, 
you can't build it if you've not got the right head coach here, have you? If you've got the right head coach, you can build something. And I've always said, if I get time, we'll build a side at once promotion. It's been a tough week. Back to back away defeats. Just got to get back to winning ways as soon as you can, haven't you? Yeah, I think with the benefit of looking back at the DVDs, we probably didn't deserve to get anything in the end at Ipswich. I think we, we dominated 20 minutes and could be a couple up there, but, but today was a far superior performance all over the pitch. People win their individual battles, people played it around with some real quality, and you, you can't come to Wednesday, make six or seven chances and go away with no goal scored. That's, you know, their mistakes and the, and the big mistakes and the crucial part of the pitch. Does this change how you plan for the rest of the, the season now? Are, are you looking... I know you said you haven't given up hope on the top six, but are you looking ahead to maybe, you know, the new season in terms of who you might bring in? No, I'm looking ahead to Bristol City, and I'd like to think that anyone comes in now is a, is either a, you know, if it's a loan signing, we have an option to perhaps keep them. Like we've got a couple of players now, or we we bring some permanent signings in, but we're we're building and we're playing football. We've got a lot to play for. We got Bristol City next Saturday. We concentrate on winning that. We've got an FA Cup that we that we think we can be quite special in the season. If we play as good as, as we've played in spells today, I'll take whatever results come. I just cannot go home tonight and I, I can pallet Sheffield Wednesday capitalising on two mistakes. I can't go home and pallet or go being uh, taken off today. I, I just never ever seen it at football before and you know what? I've never met anyone in a stadium yet since the game finished that's ever seen it either, including the, the officials. The referees apologised. We'll see where the referees next Saturday. Probably Chelsea, Arsenal, or something. But that's not going to help you, regardless, is it? There's nothing you can do about that now. No, there's not. But th these are big decisions, aren't they? We've been at um, Leeds United supporters. We'll have watched their team be two 0 up at home and watched a team score a goal in about 80 minutes, and all of a sudden it's nervous and it's back to the wall. We never got a chance for that to be affected today because of a horrendous decision. He can say what he likes about the laws of the game. He restarted the play. If you restart the game, the game's live. Simple.